Hey there everybody, how's it going? My name is Andy Rich and welcome back to another episode of Andy Rich Plays Subnautica. We are back in our base and holy cow, we have so many hoverfish. We have a hoverfish overload. I started, if you recall, with only two hoverfish in here. Went on a little trip and they went a little crazy. So, lots of hoverfish brothers and sisters in here having a good time. But, I think we... Oh, okay, apparently my character just noped his way on out of there so i guess we'll leave them for now our character has expressed his love for the hoverfish and does not want them to go so you know who am i to deny andy rich's desires so order businesses for today first up well just in general oh hello we are going to oh hello we are going to be doing some general base upgrades um something i want to do is i want to um, build a wall locker which is interior pieces interior modules yeah build a wall locker beside the um, power cell charger so that I have an easy place to put the ones that need charging so I think we will just hmm what's the play here Maybe, okay, let's move our power cell charger over a little bit. And then put the locker beside it. So power cell charger will go right here. And then right beside it, we will put the wall locker. Right there. What are we going to name it? Uh, we're going to name it... Uh, power sales, power sale. There we go. Cool. Power sale. So in here we will put, so let's just yoink our way in here. Put two zero charge ones in there. And then the rest we will put in here. So I think we have one fully charged, one half charge and two no charge. So there we go. And we might also want to do that with our battery charger. Unfortunately, we do not have a wall in here that's too free. So let's first let's take these bad boys out. Uh, deconstruct this bad boy. And then grab two titaniums for a storage facility and let's put this since our power cell chargers in here too let's put our battery let's make a wall for our battery charger too so we go battery charger right the heck here bada bing bada boom and right beside it another wall locker ka -chow. and then on for the name bat ear ray bat Bat, bad, bad, batteries. <laughs> Perfect. I'm liking the trend of um, poorly named or poor design names for uh, our wall lockers. We got batteries right here. We got power sales right here. And then if you take a gander over here, we got Carl, which has our coral in it. And our mush, which is our mushrooms. So all in all, a successful means of storing our goods, in my humble opinion. Let me know if you agree in the comment section below. So, um, yeah, I think what we're going to be doing today is we are... Ugh, I like how ugly and red that is now that the battery isn't there. That's kind of gnarly, but whatever. What are you going to do? We're going to start by glitching out our inventory, cool. We're gonna start by cleaning out our inventory. So we got purple tablet, we got lithium and magnetite, which I think both go in here? Or does magnetite go in this one? No, magnetite goes in this one, noted. And then we got a gold, which goes in here, I believe. And propulsion cannon, we'll just chuck it in our miscellaneous one with our literal crap. <laughs> That's pretty funny, to be honest. Uh, and yeah, we're going to be building a bedroom today, which I'm kind of excited about. Um, plan for the 
bedroom. First of all, it's making me angry that our inventory isn't full. So there we go. Also, hi, Easy Go. You've been a little bit neglected lately, so I just wanted to acknowledge your existence and say, hope you're having a good day hanging out. <laughs> so, we need to take a look and see where exactly we want this bedroom to be built. Do we want to continue with a second floor? I think we do. Jeez, this observatory music is so loud in my ears. I don't know if it's loud for you guys, but that opening chord of the beautiful choir singing really hurts my ears a lot. What if we were to build our bedroom like right here? But do we want it near our man cave? What if we like made this into an L and then built it like, well, we can't do it towards our moon pool probably. Oh no. Uh, what if we, okay, picture this. What if we were to put a, well, I forget how to build it. How do we build hatches of quartz at two tip? So what if we put a hatch right here? I know second entrance to Andy Rich's base is unheard of and probably blasphemous, but hear me out. We put a hatch here. Then we put like a tunnel here going downwards. And then our bedroom's like down here. Oh, but we can't, we want to fall asleep to a nice view, right? So maybe we should put our bedroom towards the coral forest so we can admire how pretty it is. So what if we were to say, put our bedroom like right here. We could even just have it be, oh no, but we need power. Um, We have something that allows us to connect power, doesn't it? Don't we? Um, exterior modules. Extends the range of a power source. I don't think that's what we want. I could have sworn there was a thing that like, allowed us to connect power. Am I crazy? Let's see. Let's take a second look here. Power. It says the range of a power source. That's not quite, I think, what we're looking for. I could have sworn there was like. Eh, maybe not. I could be wrong. No, yeah, it doesn't look like it. So let's just build a separate base to be our bedroom. Like further down right here so let's grab a heap and helping of titanium what do we need we'll need titanium um, how do we build a solar panel because that'll probably be the best way to power it um, solar panel exterior modules quartz titanium okay so go in here grab all of that titanium we go in here Grab a dollop of quartz and then go in here and grab, nope, that's the wrong one. Where do I keep my copper again? Right here, grab our three remaining copper. So let's go over here and I think it's kind of appropriate to have our bedroom a little farther away from our base, just to kind of, you know, separate work and play. You know what I mean? Let's go right here on this little ridge or on here. Hmm. Yeah, I like this. I like this little ridge right here. Totally surrounded by um, coral. We could put lots of windows so that we can admire the view. Yeah, let's do that. So, grab this bad boy. Uh, Multi-purpose room. It's too... F Ugh, I can't really tell where I'm building this. Okay, so it's right here. So, right-click. Multi-purpose room. Right there uh c to descend is does it have to be up high a little bit right there that looks good i think let's take a take a look and see how this bad boy looks just in the middle here yeah i think that looks nice as our little bedroom then we go Build a solar panel on top for power. We could put that like right there. Oh, 
solar panel takes a long time to build. I didn't know that. So now we got power. Then we go down here. And we put a hatch. Oh, the hatch has to stick out, eh? Nah, that's a bummer. Whatever. And we sneak our way in. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Why is our... Oh, because it's nighttime. That makes sense. Well, bummer. I guess we have to wait to construct the rest of this until daytime. That kind of stinks. Okay, well, maybe... I have a plan. Okay, let's go over here and breathe. Also, I feel like my base, as it's getting bigger, it's looking more and more like a um, an alien, like one of the alien bases. That's just kind of the vibe I get. I don't know. Let me know in the comments section what you think, but that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Like, when you see the alien bases from far away, it kind of looks the same. Also, here we go. Second entrance into the base kind of branching out a little bit we're fine Welcome aboard, I hate this I hate that there's so many in here so many hoverfish like I love you hoverfish I think you guys are wonderful creatures but like you're kind of taking over the place and I kind of want to branch out a little bit yeah here's what we're gonna do inventory pretty full we're gonna just grab all these guys is there more than 15 in here I can just keep turning and more keep appearing. There's eight, 50, 17 in here? Is there two left? Okay, so let's just restock the great outdoors. Get a grip on our uh, hoverfish population. Where? I just built a hatch, did I not? Where the heck is the hatch? Oh, is this it? Okay, yeah, yeah this is it. So I guess we will just have an incredibly massive hoverfish population out here. Along with our one cuttlefish. So go, be fruitful and multiply, my children. Like, we're gonna have so many hoverfish. Literally, how many did I have? I had 15, room for 15 in my inventory, and now we have like and then we had like a full inventory full before. I think what I want to do is I want to find some more creature eggs and see if we can't get some more interesting stuff in here. Yep, you too too. Thank you for your service, but you are no longer required in the man cave. You've been deemed unmanly. Burn on you guys. So we are good. This is basically, oh my gosh. They're all just floating in place. They're just like, where am I? Are they okay? Are you guys good? Why are they? Oh, they might be a little more docile at night. I think that's what it is. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to utilize our scanner room real quick. And we're going to see if we can find some creature eggs to put in our... Um, What's it called? Our man cave, our alien containment center. So let me just, oh, nope, that's not what I want. Creature egg. So let's see if we can't find some creature eggs and see what we can cook up in our alien containment. Uh, am I hoping for anything per se? Not, it's kind of going to be a surprise, I think, because I don't really know what kind of creatures there are. I don't even really know how creature eggs work. To, is this just a creature egg right here glowing? Why wasn't this picked up on the scanner already? Okay, so we got one creature egg. And, like, who knows what's going to be in these creature eggs? The heck if I know. I actually have no idea. Friend or foe? I don't know. So we got a green one and a blue one. I'm guessing any that will be in the kelp forest. It's kind of like, it's like Pokemon cards. What are we going to get? Who knows? What's going to be in this pack? A rare? An epic? Who knows? I sure don't. Okay, we got another blue one. So it looks like there's definitely a pattern of these blue eggs. Oh, nice. Okay, so that means that our bedroom is ready to be constructed again. So I can quit stalling. <laughs> so let's put in these three eggs. Can I wonder if things and eggs can eat each other. That would kind of be a bummer, hey? Be a little bit of a killjoy to 
grow these beautiful creatures just to have them devour each other. But I guess we'll see what happens. This is kind of a fun, exciting new part of the game that I haven't really explored all that much. Drop. 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 Alright, and I guess we'll see what comes out. They're kind of just rolling around. I hope that's okay for them. So yeah, let's um quickly say thank you to our scanner room and shut it off so that we're not wasting power because our power I think it's slowly going down. Is it slowly going down? Oh no, it's slowly going up. Oh, because it just turned to day. That makes sense. Thank you for your service. Goodbye. Uh, and let's continue to construct our, um, our bedroom. I don't know. Okay, what kind of stuff are we going to want to build in this bedroom? We're going to want windows. Oh, I should grab some lithium in case we are a little unstable in terms of power levels. That might be a good plan. We want, or not power levels, in terms of uh, just the integrity of the base. We want to make sure that we're not uh, flooding our bedroom because liquids in a bedroom, don't want to get into that. That is just suboptimal for sure. Have you ever tried drinking water while lying down in bed? I have, and let me tell you, let me save you the trouble, it does not work. Oh, not the biggest fan of that. <laughs> we just have some glitchy plants clipping through. Should we just put a, okay, we have two options here. We can either move the base up a little bit or we can get rid of the plants. I think getting rid of the plants is not an option. So we might just have to move the base a little bit. Thank you, timer, for letting me know. Uh, just let me, uh, maybe it could be part of the aesthetic. I don't know. No, it's not going to be. Change power source. Crap. Uh, I guess we'll just take, take something out of one of the other tools. What tool do I not need? We don't need, we don't need the laser cutter right now. So thank you. Exchange power source. Thank you. There we go. Deconstruct our hatch real quick. Deconstruct this multi-purpose room real quick. Right click. Multi-purpose room. Up. This is probably fine, right? Okay, well, this is definitely fine, so let's just do this. I think this should... Yeah, this this will definitely be good. It's a little uglier looking. Oh, it's not even that bad looking, to be honest. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I had a... What should we call it attached to the top? Did I get reimbursed for that? Or is it just a floating... I don't know. It's probably fine. I knew I constructed a third thing, but I forgot what it actually was. Power restored. All primary systems online. Power restored. All primary systems online. Well, wow. just give me the job of Siri, let's be honest. So let's put our hatch towards our base. I think that is a positive direction to go with this. Oh, Welcome weird. Aboard, Captain. Okay, and then... We... Grab this, and let's build a bed. Oh, I need a fiber mesh, I guess. All right, I think we're gonna cut, call it, well, oh, I wanna build something in here. Coffee machine, nuclear waste disposal, sign, I don't know, we'll figure it out. But for now, this is gonna be our bedroom. Can't wait to see what our bedroom is going to be but for now alas the episode is over so thank you guys so much for watching tune in next week to see how this base comes together and blossoms into a beautiful luxurious bedroom for andy rich thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next episode take care <laughs>